Hello and welcome back to our Bible story time. I'm so glad that you can join us today. We're reading from the Lectionary Story Bible by Ralph Milton, and we're very grateful that Ralph has given permission for his stories to be used during this pandemic. Today we're reading A Woman Teaches Jesus based on Matthew 15 verses 21 to 28. It was so hard for Jesus to find a place to rest. Everywhere he went, people followed him. One day, Peter said, why can't we go to Cana? It's a different country, so people won't know you. You could rest there. They went to a friend's little house in Canaan. Go inside and rest, said Peter. I'll stay out here to make sure nobody bothers you. Jesus was just trying to lie down for a nap when he heard some noise outside. You can't go in there, yelled Peter. Well, I am going in there whether you like it or not. I said you can't go in there, woman, Peter yelled again. I am going in, mister, said the woman. I have a sick daughter at home. I am going in there and that prophet of yours is going to fix her. Now get out of my way before I kick you. Peter jumped aside. The fierce eyes of the woman made him afraid. He followed her into the house. I told her you wanted to rest, Jesus, but she wouldn't listen. Jesus, that is your name, said the woman. They say you are a prophet. They say you are a very powerful prophet. Some say you are God's chosen one. All right, Jesus, I'm asking you. Now there were tears in her eyes. No, I'm begging you, Jesus, Lord, son of David, Help my daughter. She is very, very sick. If you don't help her, she will die. Jesus was sitting on a mat in a corner of the room. He was so tired. He didn't want to talk to anyone. He kept his eyes closed, hoping the woman would go away. When Jesus didn't say anything, the woman began to yell again, Look, I'm sorry, but I need your help, Jesus. My daughter is dying, and I need your help. I can't help you. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. I was sent to the people of Israel, to the Jews, not to the people of Canaan. Please go away. Jesus talked very quietly because he was so tired. I need time to think. I need time to rest. But the woman would not go away. If you are God's chosen one, didn't you come to help all of God's people? I was sent to help the Jewish people of Israel, said Jesus. Try to understand. Suppose you are at a table and you have bread there for your family to eat. There is just enough bread for the children, so you don't take the children's bread and give it to the dogs, do you? The Jewish people, the people of Israel, are like the children at that table, and I only have enough bread to feed them. Right, said the woman. But even the dogs that run around on the street get to eat some of the bits that fall off the table. Don't you have even a little love to give? A little love for those of us who are not Jewish? Jesus rubbed his forehead. He had a headache. Then he remembered the stories he heard when he was a boy. He remembered the funny story of Jonah. Jonah was sent to tell the people of Nineveh about God. They were not Jewish. He remembered the story of brave Ruth, who came from Moab. She wasn't Jewish, but she became the great-great-grandmother of King David. Then Jesus smiled just a little as he remembered the stories his mom had told him about the three strangers from a faraway country, the three magi. They brought special gifts to him when he was a baby. You're right, said Jesus. His voice was just a whisper. Of course you are right. You are also very brave. Go home. Your daughter will get well. And thank you for coming. You've given me a lot to think about. Thank you, said the woman. She walked over and put her hand on Jesus' shoulder. You need to rest before you can think, she said gently. I will send you some tea to drink that will help you sleep. I'm so glad that you joined us for our story time today, and I look forward to having you join in again tomorrow. Bye for now.